A few weeks ago, a man left his house for the trade fair in Lagos in order to avoid the ungodly Lagos traffic. Those in Lagos understand. He left his car and used the commercial motorcycle, which we call Okada, instead. When he reached his destination, he disembarked from the bike. Uh, let's use the Nigerian term. He dropped and handed the fare to the Okada man. Upon turning to complete his journey on foot, he heard someone screaming behind him, my manhood, my manhood, my manhood. Actually, manhood means the male genitalia, but because of the algorithm, I have to use this word instead of the real word. Then the man turned around in curiosity to see who that was. That was the person shouting. And upon turning, he found out that it was the Okada man that dropped him. Before the man could put one and two together, due to the Okada's man hysteria, because he was shouting, a crowd had already gathered and the Okada man, visibly shaking, had held his crutch and said that his manhood had disappeared and that he was dying. The crowd didn't need any further education and quickly declared the passenger a genitalia thief. By that time, the confused passenger swore with his children, his grandparents and anything or anyone he could at that moment just to prove his innocence. But the jury ordered him to return the missing manhood or die like a witch, actually in this case a wizard. By the time the police arrived, the man had already been beaten into a pop. Some said he was even stabbed by some Okada men in order to attempt to torture him into confessing and reversing what he had done. So the police rescued him and rushed him to the hospital motionless. But unfortunately, there was nothing that could be done for him as he was already dead. This man left his house a few hours ago, used a bike instead of his car, and later on, he was already dead, sadly. As at the time of recording this video, there was a recent story of someone stealing the manhood of multiple men in Abuja. I'm sure that if you click to watch this video, you've heard of similar stories. If not, Wow. So now as a medical doctor and a YouTuber, this current trend is something I needed to hop in for two major reasons. The first, to educate people about this. I'll give my medical wisdom on this matter and this could be life-saving. Then the second reason is to join the trend. Yeah, maybe this will blow my channel, who knows. But before I give my answers, I have a question for you that you can answer in the comment section now before the video ends. Have you ever witnessed a similar event personally? And if it has happened in your very presence, can you share in the comment section? Then the second question I'll ask you is if you had experienced this event before, did you confirm that the manhood was actually missing by looking at the perineum yourself? If yes, please let us also know in the comment section. But what if I told you that if this had actually happened in your presence, that's not the truth. But before you come for my next year, hear me out. I'll break it down for you medically because actually there's a medical explanation for this. Please just be patient and be open-minded. The manhood cannot be magically removed. It is a purely muscular organ. There's no bone in it. Attached firmly to the pubic bones and contains large blood vessels, nerves, and I'm using the word the pipe through which we urinate. So there's no way that could be cleanly removed without causing a problem because the only time that the manhood can actually be lost is through traumatic incidences in which a person voluntarily decides to remove it or loses it through some forms of accident and such individuals can lose their lives if medical aid is unavailable at the moment the major complication is bleeding because of the rich blood supply to this organ now can people feel like their penises are missing yes but feeling is not the same as reality and if only people can find out by seeing it for themselves before they act upon the screams of others claiming this, it's going to really help. Here is the main medical explanation as to why someone may feel and strongly believe that he has lost his manhood. A person may have a condition known as Koro. And Koro is a culture-bound delusion disorder in which individuals have an overpowering belief that their sex organs are retracting and will disappear despite the lack of any true long-standing changes to the genitals. For men, there is a fear of the manhood shrinking into the abdomen and for women, there is a fear of their womanhood and breast shrinking into the abdomen and the chest respectively. And all these feelings are followed by the feeling of impending death. Note that the Okada man claimed he was dying, so this ties down to this particular diagnosis. Notably, coro epidemics can occur through proliferation of fears, opinions, and rumors through news and media. 
and social media is helping propagate this very well. The syndrome occurs worldwide and has a history in Africa, Asia, and Europe. In the United States and Europe, the syndrome is commonly known as genital retraction syndrome. Let's briefly explain culture bound syndrome. Since this coro is a culture bound syndrome, there are also other conditions that are listed among the culture bound syndrome, but we'll focus on coro for now. Culture bound syndrome, also known as culture specific syndrome or folk illness, is a combination of psychiatric and somatic symptoms that are considered to be a recognizable disease only within a specific society or culture. Psychiatric means it has to do with the brain and somatic has to do with the body. So it's both a mental and a bodily symptom. So in this situation, the people experiencing it are not faking it. They are actually feeling it. It's coming from their brain and somehow manifesting their body. That's how powerful the brain can be. Till date, there are no objective biochemical or structural alterations of bodily organs or functions. And the disease is not recognized in other cultures. That's what makes it culture bound. It's restricted to a particular culture and not recognized by other cultures. As in the cases of drug use or alcohol and smoking abuses, transmission can be determined by communal reinforcement and person-to-person -person interaction. So usually you find out that these things are very common in societies that believe in this. So as one person talks to the other person, it spreads and it's easy for you in the course of hearing this multiple times to experience it in quote yourself. Such people normally should be carried to the hospital hospital and be evaluated to rule out true retraction because some conditions genuinely cause the retraction of the genitalia. These conditions include first age. So there are age related conditions such as hypertension, atherosclerosis and drop in testosterone. A second cause could be lifestyle. People that smoke and gain weight could also experience this. So the next time someone screams my manhood, my manhood, please if you're close by calm down, try to calm the person down, then examine the person's genitalia with appropriate privacy before you become a jury and an innocent person suffers because of that you know one thing about mental health issues is that it might not show on the person's face it's not everybody that has a mental disorder that must be shabbily dressed or acting irrationally many people with mental issues do not usually appear this way so that's why we have to make sure that we act appropriately and if this crowd i'm sure had known about this particular phenomenon, the life of that man would have not been lost as a result of the jungle justice. I usually liken this phenomenon to some other events like first, the bush baby phenomenon. Those in boarding schools will have heard this before. The second is that you hear that someone picked money or anything and just turned to yam, goat, or whatsoever. And the third example is a ghost relocating and marrying someone in another community. I'm sure that for my fellow Nigerians, these are not news to you at all. In as much as you've heard stories like like this the questions i'll ask you now is that have you ever seen any bush baby with your own eyes for those that attended boarding schools i did until i graduated i had never seen that before the second is has anybody ever turned into yam or any object in your very presence before your very own eyes then the third question is did you personally know someone and then later i found out that that person is a ghost then the person totally disappeared without you ever seeing it come to think of it you realize that there were stories that were being told to you by people that you may or may not know but you've not experienced that so i hope you've picked something from it if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up i shared with as many people as possible i want to hear your experience in this especially if you don't agree with my medical explanation for this thank you and if you're yet to subscribe please subscribe and turn on the bell notification i'm going to see you in my next video